Welcome back. What is the story with the mysterious check for a million bucks cashed by Mark Schaffel, Michael Jackson's associate, whose full name is Frederick Mark Schaffel? We learned that from the indictment. And then there's that tiny check for, oh, a half a million bucks. Was it hush money? Was it used to secrete the uh, accuser and his folks off to some foreign land? Well, here's how bank manager Beverly Wagner responded to cross-examination according to the courtroom transcripts. And now you've identified two checks. And you're telling us on these two checks, exhibits 418 and 419, page 3 in each one, that you personally participated in those transactions? Yes, sir. So you remember Mr. Schaffel coming in and getting cash for those two checks, is that correct? Yes, sir. All right. Now, you see my client, Mr. Jackson, sitting there, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Did Mr. Jackson come in the bank? No. Have you ever seen Mr. Jackson before in person? No. Okay. Were you aware that Mr. Schaffel was a customer of the bank? Yes. Okay. And you knew that personally, is that correct? Yes. And you knew it personally in part because you cashed these two checks for him, right? Yes. Did you have other dealings with him? No. So the two times you really remember seeing Mr. Schaffel in person were with regard to these two checks. Is that right? Yes. Okay. All right. A little hesitancy. You may have seen them. More than twice, yes. But the two that stick out in your mind were these two, I take it? Yes, sir. Next, who signed on the dotted line? I guess what I'm getting at is, to cash these checks, you had to make sure he really was a customer of your bank, right? Yes, sir. All right. And had he been a customer of your bank for a long time? Yes. All right. And during the course of his being a customer for your bank, did you conclude that he was trustworthy as far as dealing with him on these two rather large checks? Yes. Now, the checks were drawn on an account that's called Neverland Valley Entertainment. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And was it your understanding that Mr. Schaffel was the signatory on that account? Yes. Was there anybody else who was a signatory on that account? Yes. Who else? Michael Jackson. Did Mr. Jackson ever sign any checks, to your knowledge, or sign any documents whatsoever on that account? Yes. Other than the signature cards? I'm not sure. Objection, Foundation. Sustained. Did you review the records to determine whether or not Mr. Jackson ever signed anything other than the signature cards on that account? No, sir. All right. And you did not verify Mr. Jackson's signature other than it was on the signature card. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. In other words, he didn't come in and sign in your presence. No. You ended up looking in your records and you saw a signature card that appeared to have a signature for Michael Jackson. Is that right? Yes. All right. And other than that, all of your dealings, as far as you know, were with Frederick Mark Schaffel. Is that correct? On these accounts? No. Were there other people that may have come in? Not come in, but that I spoke with. Spoke with. Okay. All right. And you do not know what happened to this money after Mr. Schaffel walked out of the bed. Is that correct? No. 